It's an acoustically tuned and damped waveguide or labyrinth um, that exists inside the speaker cabinet. Um, so typically in a ported speaker, you will have a hollow enclosure, maybe with some damping materials, and of course a tuned port with a set, set length, which has a tuning frequency. Um, a transmission line cabinet has um, a series of baffles, internal boards, um, which direct or, or channel the, the energy um, from the back of the speaker cone um, away and out um, wherever you choose. Um, of course, a speaker without a cabinet, a moving coil loudspeaker is essentially a dipole. So it's generating just as much energy from the rear as it is from the front. So it's the choice of the designer what to do with this energy. Because, um, you know, again, in an ideal world, that energy would sort of disappear into a black hole and it would never be seen again, right? Um, because uh, the energy from the back, of course, is 180 degrees out of phase with the energy from the front. So um, this is why if you have a speaker without a cabinet, you don't hear any bass because those low frequencies, those long wavelengths are wrapping around and cancelling out. So the designer's choice is, is, or the decision the designer has to make is what to do with this energy, how to manage it, how to handle it. Um, so with the transmission line, um, as I say, you're, you're, you're channeling the energy away and, and out um, through a, um, a, well, a vent, as we have here at the base of the speaker. Um, so um, in the two-way K320, obviously, the mid-base driver is responsible for a large portion of the mid-range content as well. Um, so that energy is absorbed inside the cabinet. There's lots of absorptive materials, foam, long hair, um, hollow fiber um, stuffing um, inside the cabinet. And by the time the air essentially has made its way around the transmission line, the uh, highest frequencies have been absorbed by that material. And what you're left with is the content below about 100 hertz, which is what you hear coming from the, the vent at the bottom. Um, but the nice bonus is that by the time that energy has made its journey around the internal labyrinth inside the cabinet, um, the output that you get from the vent is in phase with the woofer cone, the front of the woofer cone, over a much broader, peer, um, broader range of frequencies than, than in a ported cabinet. So the transmission line works with the driver. So if this energy that we get from the rear of the cone can't disappear, we have, to, we have to use it. I say, well, let's use it as effectively as we can. And I believe that's what a tr transmission line does. Um, when well designed, you get this um, wonderful um, extension in the base that rolls off much more gradually than a, than a um, ported enclosure um, and indeed a sealed enclosure as well.